Hey, it's Constantine here. In today's video, I want to help you protect your Facebook ad account, business manager, and help you advertise basically stress-free, right? The last thing that you want to do is write all the copy, create all of your landing pages, or perhaps even do this for your clients. And then after you start running, running those ads and everything start going well, you start getting results for yourself, for your clients, then out of the sudden, bam, you're going to get slapped by the van hammer. And this has happened to me as well. It's an incredibly painful experience. So I want to help you prevent from getting banned on Facebook meta, whatever it is right now. And especially meta is super sensitive to this. And that's why I'm just creating this video for all advertisers that are running ads on this platform. So the very first thing that, and this is also after speaking to several meta reps, is an incredibly important feature is having this one activated right now, which is the two factor authenticator. What this basically does is each time you log into your meta ad accounts, you are going to have a code displayed on, I'm personally using the Google authenticator. So each time I'm logging in, I have to actually go to my phone and then enter a six digit code to log in into this business manager. And the reason why this is quite important is it's just like it gives is it gives Meta, it gives Mark Zuckerberg the the assurance that you're kind of like a legitimate legitimate advertiser, right? You already took like one step to an extra step to protect yourself and link your device with the business manager, right? So that's that's the very initial step that you can take to protect your your business manager. The um, the very the second step is having your business actually verified, having your company verified, right? This might be a bit tricky to do if you're just completely starting out with with meta ads, you just want to get going and you don't really have a company yet. So in that case, the two-step authentication would be sufficient enough. But if you want to kind of like you know, make it super legit and let Facebook know like, hey, this is this is who I am. This is what, what my company is about. I highly recommend you to verify your business through kind of like the the, the certificate of incorporation, like your your legitimate documents of your company, including like utility bills, etc. But as always, <laughs> As you can see, nothing nothing comes without a hassle on Meta. You you've got this ver verification for business LC. You're like awesome. Let me let me try to verify. <laughs> but then uh, it's basically saying it's ineligible for verification. So how do we go around this issue? Cool. So what you're going to do is you go to accounts. You go to apps and then simply create an app right here. It's a super, super simple process. It takes literally 10 seconds to create an app. And I just want to dive into the actual backend where you need to like toggle one thing on, which allows you to have this verification. So uh, diving into the app dashboard right now, which is uh, kind of like looks like this. We've got a new app, a, a groundbreaking app that we not going to create <laughs> the only thing that we're going to actually do is we're going to go to app review permissions and features and simply request advanced access that's that's the only thing that you need to do and uh you, you can you can take any of the kind of like permissions and features to request access to and what this basically allows you to do is start your LLC verification, your company verification. And this basically gives Meta the signal like, hey, I want to develop an app, but in order to capture specific details, such as emails, phone numbers, or to mess around with kind of like the data or the codes in the backend of Meta, you want that permission to be granted. And for, for that, they actually need to see your company details. So after you simply uh, click here, right here, request advanced access, you will be able to start a verification with Meta. Awesome. So now we've created our app. We've requested for additional verification. And if we go back to the security center, 
you will find that there's a new option for you unlocked, which is basically allowing you to upload your certificate of incorporation, your utility bills, etc., to actually verify your business manager with Meta, right? If you do all these steps, it takes literally one, two minutes to fill out. It will give you that extra layer of protection that, that you need, especially if you're serious about advertising, having multiple business managers in place with multiple ad accounts for your clients is just a show. It's just a way of showing Meta like, Hey, you're a legitimate advertiser. You're here for the long run because you know, what ended up happening in the past, a lot of like people like fly by night stores came on Meta, Facebook, and they just like start advertising, never fulfilling the orders and just creating a bad customer experience on the platform. This, that's unfortunately why we have to go through these um, processes to protect our accounts these days. But um, anyways, so after you do the verification, you can see ours currently is in review as we're going through this process ourselves with a new business manager. Um, set up the two-step authenticator that I've just recently mentioned. Um, always back up your business manager with an additional person, right? You always want to invite two, three people in the business manager and give them full access basically give them admin access because what can happen is if your if your personal facebook profile gets banned and that's kind of like the authority of the whole business manager if your profile gets banned and you're the only person in the business manager you basically lose access to to your ad accounts your meta pixel your business manager facebook profile and your Instagram profile, and you won't be able to cross share it with different business managers. So that personally happened to myself, also to a client recently. So always have multiple people in place and also add in like an, like your company email as well. So Meta knows that, Hey, when you guys log in, it's, it's just, uh, it's a legitimate person, uh, not kind of like a random person sharing the ad account to quickly advertise. So finally as well, enter the same details at the business info and you're pretty much good to go. Now, if, if it so happened to you that you got banned, you know, prevention is always better than cure. That's why I've created this video to help you protect your ad accounts. But if in case you got banned, I've got this additional document for you to download for free in the descriptions down below, which is the group therapy session for advertisers who got their ad account, business manager, or Facebook profile suspended, right? So you always want to fly with two engines. And in this document, we're going to just share with you how to set things up, right? You never want to fly with one engine, um, having all of your revenue or your client's revenue reliant on just one business manager, one ad account. If something happens, it's just like gone and you have to start all over. So in this document, we share with you um, in this in this amazing, close, safe environment for you how how to actually do this. Right. So you're going to sit on this chair and we're just going to have we're going to create that safe space for you to share your pain and solve all your problems. So thank you so much if you've made it till the end. Leave a like, drop a comment below, subscribe as well if you enjoy this kind of content. Wish you an awesome day and safe advertising. Speak to you soon. Cause.